Hello, dear viewer. I'm Jalanon with Lunar Nebula LLC Gaming, presenting Galaxy of Pen and Paper. Today, hopefully, we'll find Lord Ginormous. Dominated by a ferrous smell. It's ironic. Ah. Referring to iron. Yeah. Yeah. Ferrous. Anyway, the refinery's rusty pipes haven't seen action in a while. Suddenly, enemies approach. Okay, we can defeat two Petro men and defeat two Sand Raiders to continue our mission. Okay, I'm guessing the Petro men are pretty difficult. They're level threes. The Sand Raiders, we can probably take two Sand Raiders down. Probably. We know their HP is 26, shield 10, so we need to do 36 damage to take them down. Let's fight. That's right, Sand Raiders. They kind of look like robots or something. Hmm. Ah, oh, dodged. Okay. Well, Bad Ape, I was hoping not to use the power attack. But we're going to use the power attack. Wah, critical. Perfect. Wait, Bad Ape goes again? No, okay. I was going to say, that might be a bug that we have to report. Hmm. Well, no damage to us yet. Hopefully, be dumb, move. Ah, uh, okay. Took down our shields a bit. There we go, at least it regened a bit. That'll help us with fighting off the Petro men. Okay. Let's make another combat. Petro man. Hmm. A creature made out of oil, created by Ginormous. Technically a zombie, since petroleum comes from fossils? Question mark. Okay, and it looks like they have a forced slowdown ability. Hmm. Let's add just one. <laughs> Apparently they're pretty difficult. Okay. Well then. Looks like they don't have any shield, though. So that's nice. Everything we deal damage-wise is pure damage. Yep. Okay, we're just going to try and use normal auto attacks at the moment. Okay, that's a lot of damage, but our shield took the brunt. Okay, bad ape. Crit. Crit like a man. A man ape? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Well, we took that one down. Hopefully bad ape's shield will fully recover. Yep. Now then, should I eat a rat burger? I don't think I need to. I think what I'm going to do instead, fight one more Petro Man, and hopefully we'll get closer to leveling up. And then we can make a decision. Well, hopefully the quest would... Yeah, never mind. Power attack. Go, bad ape. Leave nothing behind. Use all your power. Oh, buddy. Team attack triggered. Yep, that slow got applied. Still not dealing damage through our shields, so that's good. The oil things lose consistency when defeated, forming pools of black goo on the floor. Looks like last night's dinner. Let's proceed carefully. Okay, let's hope we level up with completing this quest. Reaching the final room, you come across a large human dude in a green wearing a hat. Only authorized personnel are allowed here. Scram! The big guy's trying to scare you off. So we can use senses, or body. We have more body, technically. Seven versus six, so body. Har! Lord Ginormous doesn't follow anyone's orders! You know it's a bad sign when they refer to themselves in the third person. Lord Ginormous does whatever he feels like. Lord Ginormous creates an awesome army of oil creatures if he wants to. Hey, here's an idea. Beat him up and get us out of here already. That's unacceptable! You work for me, little lady. Go take a dive on a tar pit, Eugene. The name's Ginormous! He's forcing me to create those oil things using my Sciencerer abilities. Sciencerer. <laughs> awesome. Ilyana, get us out of here, or the dice gets it. <sighs> Don't be sad. I'm leaving a last surprise to do you in. Her heart. Aliena moves her staff around and they're gone in a flash. Where they were standing, there's another creature now. Huh? Oh, it's my turn now. I'll mark your teeth in. Look out, that washing machine is alive! Washing ma- 
I'll have you know I'm the fantabulous unboxed box. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that box unboxed itself. Ho, 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 that's right. Now I'll unbox you. All right. Let's unbox this box. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Yep, this is bad. Hmm. Can I, however, use an item on... Yes, yes I can. Alright, so we did that. Then I'm going to apply Virus. Poison applied. Perfect. Okay, so that'll continuously deal damage. Works through shields, even though no shield. Okay, he stunned Vivian, but her poison's still doing good work, and Bad Ape's going to deal damage. And hopefully stay alive. Stay alive, bad ape. Okay, more poison. Ooh, this box has a good punch. Okay. Let's use another rat burger. Yeah, I would like to get XP from this for bad ape. Go, bad ape, go. Okay. Hopefully it won't save on its poison. Nope, okay. Saved against poison. Ah! Well stunned now. Great. Thankfully, Bad Ape resisted it. I got a crit. Yeah. But Vivian, man, you can't get rid of stun. Ooh, we got a towel. The letters M R K are embroidered on it, or M A K. It looks like an R to me, though. Whether this is Mr. Kent's towel or not is not known, but it sure is comfy. It raises your HP by 12 and your SP by 2. That was the second strongest box I ever fought. Alien is being forced to work for a big jerk. Same as us. We have to help her. I feel like this is our third party member. As you step outside, you see Ginormous' ship blasting off. Whoosh! Drat, if only we had our own ship to chase him. You suddenly notice that bright star from the last few days is... falling down. Holy deus ex machina! Say, wouldn't a crash so close by completely kill us in the shockwave? Because if you apply the meteor impact rule from the core book... Chill, Vivian. Remember the golden rule. The GM has the final word. Of course, these godlike powers must not be used in vain, so don't get too comfy. Come on, Vivian. Let's go check that ship out already. It seems you have crash-landed in the area correspondent to the Sector X Sigma-42 coordinates. Okay, go to Sector X, Sigma 42, and investigate. We got more XP. We beat up Lord Ginormous's box. Vivian leveled up. That's pretty good. But no more skill points. What? Oh, that's lame. Oh, well. At least we have Virus. Virus is pretty good. What about the Science re is pretty good for SP? Hmm. Remove all negative. That'd be great if she wasn't so prone to getting stunned, apparently. Oh, Vivian. Hmm. Other than that... I would like to get Quarantine Procedure. And really build her towards a poisony effect. Though, if I build too much towards poison... Then, that could be bad if they're very resistant to it. Hmm. Thoughts to think about. That could be good, too. Tech support. Hmm. Anyway, Bad Ape. Your turn. Alright, at least he's getting some good HP boosts. He now has two skill points. Hmm. Cleanup could be good. He's pretty good at getting over bad statuses on his body, at least. Probably not any confusion with that low mind trait. Hmm. But meta mind can be pretty stinking good with virus. So I think I'm going to unlock meta mind for now. The small health pack could be really good too. Hmm. I'd rather give that to Vivian though. So is Metamind even worth it? 
Probably. I could raise my threat. Hmm. Nah, I think we're going to get meta mined for now. Because hopefully. Let's see. We got rid of our ally ability. We'll put that one in. Alright. So that should help us out a lot in boss fights, like the last one. So I wouldn't have to use as many items. But uh, we will see how much healing gets done. In the meantime, unknown location. Sector X, Sigma 42. Cool ship. Hmm. You reach the ship's crash site. You reach the ship's crash site. It seems to be in good condition, in spite of the monumental crash landing. This is so exciting. It'll make a great blog post. Come on, bad ape. I need you all focused on the game. Are you kidding? I'm 110% focused. I think there's even a word for that. Unabi or something? Let's hurry up inside already. You enter the fallen ship. The strange spacecraft features an architectural style you've never seen before. Curious. Let's look around some more. In the engineering deck, you see a power core pulsing with energy. So this ship doesn't use fuel? How? And well. Leaving the engineering deck, you come across a med bay. Cool. We'll have a place to mend our broken bodies after all the bloody fights we'll get in. You're weird, bad ape. Anyway, finally, you reach the ship's bridge. Bzzz. What was that buzzing sound? No idea. Might have something to do with the overabundance of appliances in my one wall socket. Roll. Okay, I passed the electrical fire saving throw. Now focus on the game, everyone. I have doubts about how effective that solution of yours is. Anyway, where's the crew? I hope they weren't vaporized on the crash landing. Their ship... It's our ticket to all the adventures we always dreamed of. Too bad you won't be taking my ship anywhere, slaves. Okay, we've got good power. I say Vestro gets a beating. G get it away from, from me, you troglite. I knew you'd be here. Vestro, you're under arrest for selling poor quality ships. Yeah, wait. Isn't he under arrest for placing free galactic citizens under forced servitude? Oh, right. That too. You're free from this, leech soldiers. You brats will pay for this. The ship has no crew and no registration, so on my authority... Take it, and bring Ginormous to justice. I have a feeling your reputation will increase with your heroic exploits, soldiers. I mean, right now you're just abductees, but soon you'll grow to be... Well, we'll see, huh? You've conquered Val's trust, so she'll give you hunt missions now. You'll probably come across people who will give you different kinds of missions. About time we left this rock, all thanks to our new mysterious ship. This is more than a ship, it's a companion, and it needs... A musician. A musician? No! It needs a name! This ship will be known as the Frog, F-R-O-G-G. -G. Okay. The Nebula? Hmm. I mean, there is already a Nebula command. Yeah, let's get back to the Nebula. The Nebula ship? The Nebula? I just like the Nebula, not gonna lie. The Nebula. I dub thee the Nebula. The The Nebula. <laughs> no, I was worried about them. Okay. The, the nebula seems to hum slightly. Let's see how well the, the nebula flies. <laughs> Deflector shields redirected with neutronic power generators. Processing core frequency set to 14 kiloquads. The, the nebula trembles slightly as the engines start. The, the nebula lifts off, rising through the sky and leaving Tanton Sands behind. Awesome! Hey, what's that thing floating over there? We can worry about it later. Now let's scan for heat signatures and track ginormous down. 
All right. Let's find Ginormous' spaceship and intercept it to rescue Aliena. Welcome to space! <laughs> Thank you for watching, dear viewer. This is where we'll leave it for today. Have a good one.